What is up all you people? Dom here. And over here is the special guest. Here we have the Verko and Chadok fan, Hugo. Hello boys. And today's rant is a request by him. Take a look. So yeah, as you saw in his comment, we're doing a double rant. The and Raja and kill the Shadoks. Sorry if this rant will not be longer than expected. We just do not know a lot of information about those two pieces of media. But anyways, are you ready to begin this rant, Hugo? Oh frick yeah, let's a freaking go. Okay, let's begin. Starting with Vico and Raja. So, if you don't know who Vico and Raja are, well, we will give you the best information we can. Vico is the Winter Olympics mascot for the 1984 Winter Games located in Sarajevo, Yugoslavia, formerly now Bosnia and Herzegovina. And for Raja, I don't even know who the hell Raja is. Hugo, can you tell me who Raja is? Okay Tom. Raja is the mascot for the 1987 Univerzijada Yada Festival located in Zagreb, Yugoslavia, formerly now Croatia. So, people would say this duo were the best Olympic mascots in the world. But however, that is just all falsity. Because the duo has turned from happy and friendly to absolute nightmare fuel. If you do not even know what we mean by turn from happy and friendly to nightmare fuel, we will show you some of the artwork mad about Vako and Raja, approximately in the modern day. So you ready for the artwork? Oh I am so not. But however, let's a freaking go. Okay, so the first piece of artwork Matt on the duo is Vico flipping the freaking bird by pulling the middle finger. Dude, to whoever made that freaking crazy drawing, I hope you feel bad for what you have done to the innocent mascot. Okay, the next illustration shows one of the Yugoslavian army or government members, holding Vico, with the same freaking Yugoslavian hat. That almost kind of counts as communism or socialism. The person that drew that has lost his mind. Alright, the second to last piece of artwork that we are going to show you is this. This shows Vico looking scared or irritated, holding a big leaf hiding his private part. And there are three hands with guns pointed straight at Vico. Seriously, who even thought that would be a good idea? Whoever is doing this is literally a freaking maniac. And finally, the last piece of artwork is actually an animation. Please, take a look. Like what the freaking hell? That animation is so freaking weird and scary, that it might cause endless nightmares. To the dude who creates these, stop doing this. Don't you dare do that again. I totally agree with you, Tom. The animation is so swifty, that it makes your eyes wanna shoot themselves. Alright time to move on I can't even comprehend. Alright guys, this is it. The final round of the episode you all have been waiting for, Kill the Shadoks. Alright now, time to get into it. So, if any of you do not even know a single crap about this parody, we will still give you the best information we can. Kill the Shadoks to us kind of looks like a parody of the French TV show named, The Shadoks. It's a parody cartoon showing all of the Shadoks being killed in many insane and sociables. Some people may say that Kill the Shadoks is the best of the best of parody cartoons. But to us, it was never a good idea in the first place. It can ruin a lot of childhoods and cause them to tear up, and cry so loud their parents will scream at them. I totally have to agree with you, Hugo. Why did they even think that making that would be a good idea? The second part will be kind of rushed, because we will only give you the pictures of the Shadok's corpses on the ground. Okay now, prepare for your childhood to be straight up ruined. Like are you literally out of your freaking mind you guys? Why did you think ruining people's childhoods of this beloved TV show would be a super great idea? You guys are so dumb. Go to Pixar University, and make more appropriate drawings. Okay now, that'll be the end of the Double Ramp House. This is Dom. And Hugo. Signing off, and I'll see you in the next Rant video.